Yeah, what's going on, man? Uh, dude, I'm your neighbor. Yeah, that's true, huh? For a while. You moved out here to Nashville. How's that been for you? It's been good so far. I haven't been here that much. Mm -hmm. uh, fall's like the busiest time of year for me, so I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've liked it so far. It's a lot of like, they try to, I, I notice if you go downtown, you see a lot of fat stuffed in the boots. Dude, I, I told you that. I was like, this is the, it's way fatter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's all love, but it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fats out here. Oh, it, it, there is. It's, and most on the female side. And I'm not even saying, not even looking from a sexual per, uh, perspective. Like, yeah. There's just a lot of girls who are, they're on Broadway. Oh and yeah. They're, and they're fat. <laughs> <laughs> thick, baby. They're thick now. They're thick. thick yeah, they change thick, it, man. But yeah. it, it, cause it is, you know, they definitely, fat has become more designer. Yeah. I think the Kardashians did that because they had that kind of desert fat, that ass, you did know? Did you see this story that uh, Kim apparently like cut her ass off? Uh-uh. It's off now. Wow. And did they do anything with the meat or whatever? I think they had to have, but I don't know what they did with it. What uh, would you have done with it? Oh, I'm sure she gave it to blacks, man. If you've seen like a lot of her history, you know? Yeah. She does a lot of stuff for like the African-American community. And you think they would reappropriate or just eat it? <laughs> oh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you this. If I got a half pound of uh, dashy and ass in the mail, bro. <laughs> yeah. I might sear it, but I might not cook the whole thing. You know? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm leaving the middle rare. Yeah. I'll be honest, bro. I am, bro. And I think I'm eating it alone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, you might have to, dude. Honestly, candlelight dinner and and you're going to be hungry afterwards, too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for dessert. And that's going to be a hard meal to follow up. Oh, uh, that's going to be a hard meal to follow up. Yeah. So this is my whole thing. Was, so during okay. COVID, I played golf for the very first time. Okay. And the, I was hooked immediately. I was like, this is the best sport I've ever played in my life. And then I was like looking around. I was like looking into it. And I was like, these guys who are professional golfers are not even that good of athletes. Uh-uh. They Some don't seem to be. Yeah. There's a lot of fats. Yeah, a lot, a lot of fats, dude. I seen a couple of them on Broadway. <laughs> oh, dude. I saw John Daly one night <laughs> overdose on, I don't even know what it was, gin, I think. <laughs> and get carried out of a bar, like get carried out of a restaurant. Yeah, not even a bar. Dude. <laughs> what restaurant was it? Um, it was twelve thirty club downtown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now look, it's a great establishment. It's uh -huh. the kind of place where you could have so much fun that you gotta have a, you know, it's, they gotta send an ambulance for you because <laughs> you know your whole vibe is on fire. But yeah, they had they had some dudes carrying them out. I keep on waiting for this to like have like a joke in it, but so far it seems, <laughs> it seems pretty accurate to what happened. Yeah, and I I just turned it on one of those people that's just kind of like video on them. I didn't put it up because it felt kind of embarrassing. But yeah, and but the crazy thing was I saw it happen again where they carried John Daly out of a ball out it, of a place. I mean, it probably happens to him pretty often. Yeah, I think he's definitely become kind of like the cat. Like he's like the bad, you know, he's the bag of clubs. Someone made a rumor and he was an awesome cult leader. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. First of all, if I'm a cult leader, good for me, I yeah. feel like. <laughs> right? Yeah. I hate how they're always like, oh, this fucking cult leader, you know, or yeah. whoever, you know, or like whoever it is, Billy Graham or like Mike Lindell or whoever these people are, you know, like uh, – who, the guy that did the XFL, you know, all that shit. But it's like, I'm in. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> if I'm a cult leader, I'm fucking, let's do it. Yeah, what would you do for your cult? What would you have them do? I think sex, mostly. Yeah. It seems like, you <laughs> it seems like you, you're right on the same page as pretty much everyone else, I think. I mean, the only reason you get into a cult, I feel like, is probably for some kind of light sex, you mm. know? I don't know. We had a guy one time on here who beat... What's that? He has like a disease or something where you can't talk. Mm. Uh, he had a stutter. <laughs> 69 is for children, I think. It's hard as you, more, the older you get, it's harder to do. Yeah. You know, I've always thought that 69 is more for children, not children, you know, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, of a people who want to fuck that are yeah, whatever like, age, like, as long as they're both cool with it. 18. Yeah. In most states. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, dude, I, oh, dude, I was on a, I was on a, we shot a TV show one time and they had, it was like a, they, there was this party scene. Remember that song? It was like climbing the stairway to heaven. Mm -hmm. So we're, there's a party at that. There's like a, we shooting at that guy's house. Right. And, um, they had people f like fucking doing sex at the party. They hired mm -hmm. them. Right. So they were supposed to be. In the background, having fun, just having sex. Right. 
So we're just been doing this acting all day, this scene and stuff. And finally, you know, it gets on in the evening. And then those those actors get there and they're just like, fuck, they just start. They just, <laughs> <laughs> the guy be like, all right, move over here, here, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and balloons, the last person, some guy was supposed to be blowing up balloons. <laughs> so you're like, okay, one, here, yep. Fucking balloons, and then the scene would start, <laughs> and these people were just, and the the one of them had been like, I just came from fucking somewhere else, and I was like, damn. I mean, you're getting into acting a little bit, aren't you? A little thinking about it, or yeah. So, do you think that you'd be able to do that? You would think you'd be able to? No. No. What would you What would you say if they had that was a big part of your script? I would say, look, man, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm not going to make any promises. And I think we should have an alternate ending to this scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I just, my whole life, I've never been a great, mm. you know, that's not been like, I'm good. I, I'm good at say, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Like the pre, you know, when the guy walks to the ring. Yeah. And the music's playing, dude. Yeah. And they're checking him down, and the yeah. big black eye shows up and pats him down or yeah, whatever. But that's before foreplay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm good at that. <laughs> I'm good at fucking, let's, you know, let's be ready. Yeah. We ready. I'm good at all the <laughs> intro music and everything. <laughs> it's just once it starts, I think sometimes it's just too much. I don't know if it's the viscosity or what it is. And then some, so, but I'm, yeah, I'm just not a distance runner. I'm more of a shot put. Yeah. Hey, you know. But I mean that that's in the Olympics. Yeah, and people can make careers off that. They're not I don't think it's good ones. Yeah, <laughs> I think true. you probably have to have another one as well. That's true. Dude. But yeah. still. You're lucky to have background on like a Campbell's chunky suit bad, I think is your You might actually be in that scene. Yeah. <laughs> that we were talking about earlier. If you're your sexual uh, finesse. Yeah. If you had to put that into an Olympic sport, this is good. Yeah. What would yours be, you think? Olympic sport wrestling? Ooh. Really? So it's a lot of like all like chair out of the ring type of stuff. Both people have their clothes on. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> but trying, you know, but trying. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I neither are... person has a boner. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> Dude, I remember one time we met this Chinese kid and He'd never seen wrestling before, and then we told him it was two guys trying to fuck each other, right? <laughs> he believed it. Yeah, oh, he believed it totally. <laughs> but the whole time, he's like, he's just like wondering why they couldn't both do it, you know? He's like, this seems so crazy. Yeah. Was Reno's like, bad. Reno's growing. Reno's growing. Reno's growing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Dude, I, Reno's the only city I wouldn't donate blood in, dude, honestly. <laughs> Because I felt bad about leaving it there. <laughs> really? Yeah, we got stuck in a casino one night there, and they I, they found a body behind some of the machines in there. Me and... um Alive? You no, know, not alive. They found a not alive guy behind some of the machines. Did they even pick it up? Yeah, they got him out of there, dude. Um, we had Chris Nickich on, and he's the Down Syndrome guy who won the... Uh, who finished the Iron Man. And so that was like unbelievable talking to him. Did he flex on you? Uh, no, he talked. He, like he like likes shit. He you know he talked a lot about trying to get with some hot blondes. You know, yeah. Which I get. You know, <laughs> <laughs> totally understood that part of it. Yeah, actually, the part I couldn't relate to was a lot of like the physical. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> like his his are like achievements. Yeah, man, he loves smoking hot blondes. That's what he's called. He's like, let's get some smoking hot blondes. That's what he kept saying <laughs> over and over again, man. But he, that dude, yeah, he ran like 250 miles. But this place, they have everybody that works there has Down syndrome. So that's like, and people were giving them a problem. But I think it's kind of cool. What could you give them a problem about? I think people are saying, oh, this is wrong, you know? But I think it's like, at least now you can embrace it. Like, welcome to this place. We have Down syndrome. Because what I don't like is when people pretend somebody doesn't have Down syndrome. Yeah, you know? too many people are doing that. Well, in our town growing up, they would do that a lot. And they'd be like, Eric has Down syndrome, you know? And they're like, no, he doesn't. You know, they're like, <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> He's not doing great today. <laughs> Yo, his yeah, service is just slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I wonder what other afflictions you could have and also have like a cool 
place, you know? It, oh, establishment, be incorporated. Yeah. Yeah. Like if they had... Dude, what if there was a what if there was a spot where every every single person had, had like herpes, <laughs> like everyone in here has genital herpes? <laughs> They're serving you fucking a hamburger, <laughs> <laughs> hamburgers and herpes. Yeah, <laughs> bro. What about eggs and eczema? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just go. The guy's like, "Oh, you want some uh, salt on that?" And he just rubs his skin <laughs> off like that. Dude. Dude, what about Pepsi no. and Hepsi? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you want something to drink? Check your crotch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be it. I don't know. Sometimes I think about like just those names, like the, the strip clubs that serve food. Yeah. Tits and grits, mm -hmm. eggs and legs. Yeah. You get like hangers and bangers, <laughs> oh, <yeah. Just> old <laughs> saggy, saggy, <laughs> saggy boobs, no bras, and this every potatoes. Oh. oh, dude, when I see a horrible tit, it fucking makes my whole body hurt. What you know what I'm talking about? They had a lady, big breast lady. Um, Type that in. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think we have a blocker on this computer, and I got to get a new one, dude. I've ended up masturbating the past four days. It's, oh really because when we were at that camp with jimmy john you were on a, a no masturbation uh, uh i think you were like 35 days in or something i was doing good and i was trying to convince you to, to jerk it off i was like where are you going yeah. <laughs> you're like dude why do you keep wanting me to jerk off yeah, was and little... i started feeling bad about myself I was like, i don't know why i wanted to jerk off <laughs> yeah bro that was a weird flex from you bro i will say that they had a lady with big boobs who uh it was trans person who had big boobs and the kids were loving it at school. This lady has got those freaking damn rib bonnets, dude. She's got some <laughs> bangers. There's a place for her at Hangers and Bangers. Oh, bro, there's no way you you can you can't. There's no way you can park in front of those and not get a ticket, huh? Do you think there could be a place where and this is kind of a good? <laughs> Look at that one, dude. <laughs> oh my god. What? What do you think? What? What is she teaching? Dude, is she, is she in whiteface? Go up. Oh, she probably is, like Lester Holt. Bro, I bet a bait, I bet. Wait, she teaches a wood chopping class? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> of course she does, baby. There's a lot of wood in there, dog. <laughs> oh, dude, oh, dude. <laughs> Can you believe this? But see, this is how they're going to get everybody. Me, me and Will, so I've been working out with Will. It's this place called uh, Boost Fit in Nashville. Mm -hmm. It's just like a, a big facility. They have a lot of athletic stuff in there, but there's also a school for hockey kids who don't want to go to real school. And it's awesome. They literally just don't go to real school. They do online classes and they play hockey all day. In Nashville? In Nashville. Wow. And they have every age. So we'll go in there after we work out and we'll like jump in the sauna or showers and then we're just showering. There's a bunch of middle schoolers <laughs> <laughs> running around making fun of each other's meats and stuff like that. Why is she not getting naked? You know, so we're just in there listening to it. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, dog. Look, I've been through some shit, man. We've all been through some shit, dude. That's crazy, bro. I never. Uh... Like, we'll sit in there and we'll be in the sauna and they'll all be like waiting in line to get in the showers and stuff. And they're just ruthless. Yeah, they're so mean, dude. I'm like, God, he's getting roasted right now. You want to step in, but like, I'm not stepping in. <laughs> it's dangerous <laughs> over there. And when you don't know the lingo, stepping down into a yellow oh, age no. bracket is way scary, dude. Terrible, terrible. And kids nowadays, it's like they're so on their iPad, you, they don't even notice if they get molested, I feel like. Well. You know, I, mean, I feel like a lot of kids wouldn't even. <laughs> yeah. True. You know, I don't know. That's insane. We might but, have to take that out. Dude, well, by the time we get. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Like, In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows, a light that starts to flow Illuminating pathways where once there was despair In the depths of obscurity, hope begins to flare Like a flame in the wind, I ignite from within Casting rays of brilliance, banishing the din With each step I take, I brighten up the way In the realm of shadows, I become the day I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night 
driving lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the labyrinth of life, where shadows dance and play I'm the ray of sunshine, turning night into day With every glimmer I cast, I unveil the unseen in the tapestry of existence, I'm the golden sheen. From the darkest corners to the highest peak, I'm the radiant glow that even shadows seek. With every flicker, every beam I emit, I dispel the darkness, I never submit. I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night, guiding lost souls towards the morning light. Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside In the symphony of life, I'm the crescendo's rise In the canvas of the universe, I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble, let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance, I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. When I was young, you weren't looking at your iPad. So like, you know. <laughs> you noticed? If suddenly you, really noticed. you were somebody's iPad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed, yeah. But nowadays you can't even get the kids' attention, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So I had a uh, uh Bobon, you know him, he's like the tallest guy in the NBA. Mm-mm. Oh, he played for the Mavs. He's got traded to the Rockets. And uh, I asked him, I was like, dude, w when you get like, how long does it take you to get a boner? Dude, they get that signal down to your dick. <laughs> you get horny and like 25 minutes later. Yeah. If you got bad thigh fi <laughs> that <drug laughs> shit ain't going up, dog. I, I wouldn't want to be. I mean, I think that I think that me and you probably got pretty good heights. Yeah, well, I like, I, you know, I, I do get admirable of your height. Well, I'm 6'1". I went to, I moved to Florida and I had to get a new ID. Mm -hmm. And I always said I was 6'2 when I was playing football. Oh, yeah. Because you always go yeah. an inch an inch more. But then uh, once I finally just admitted, I'm like, I'm 6'1". That's what it, what it is. So I go mm -hmm. to the DMV. And I had COVID, I think, by the time I went to DMV. Oh, yeah. I didn't know, but it turned out later. So, by the way, you see what DeSantis did? I don't want to. No, we already talked about it the other day on here. It's, it's so insane, awesome. Hilarious. But <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Some people that I've read somewhere that rich people were showing up to pet the fucking people and shit. <laughs> yeah. But I went to the DMV and I was like, she's like, How tall are you? I said, six one. And then she sent me gave me my ID print, you know, they printed out right there. It says six three. Uh uh, really? I said, six three, she said. <laughs> <laughs> like kind of like, who gives a fuck, dude? <laughs> you gonna take it or not? When we get it back, it'll be five nine. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking awesome. It's like, welcome this, to Florida. This bitch is over there just changing people's lives up. 